Hi there! In today's video, I will show you how to find display settings and how to customize them on your Samsung Galaxy S23. Let's get started. So, as a first step, we would need to open settings on our phone and then go to this tab, which is named Display. And now we can start with the customizing. So, the first thing that we got here is the light and dark theme. You can see the difference on the screen. The next Thing that we got here is also dark mode settings so by clicking on it we can see this interesting feature which is turned on as scheduled so for example you can enable this feature and set the schedule so this mode will be enabled every night and it will get off the pressure from your eyes so now let's move on and the next thing that we got here is the brightness you can manage it manually by moving this dot around the slider or you can also enable this function which is named adaptive brightness and it automatically adapts to your environment next thing that we got here is motion smoothness aka screen refresh rate so by clicking on it you can see here two options which is adaptive and standard the adaptive one gets you 120 hertz which is making the animations and scrolling smoother and the standard one gives you 60 hertz which is giving you longer battery life so after you have made your choice don't forget to click this blue button apply now let's move on and the next thing that we got here is an eye comfort shield so if we will enable this function and then click on the name of this tab we will be able to see two modes which is adaptive and custom Adaptive says that it automatically adjusts your screen colors based on the time of the day. You'll see minor adjustment during the day and significantly warmer colors at night. Or you can also set the custom one and choose the color temperature bar yourself. So now let's move on and the next thing that we got here is screen mode. By clicking on it here we can choose from two options which is natural and with it and also by taking a look on this picture which is demonstrate you can see the difference between these two modes so we can take another one and as you can see the vivid one is making the pictures more saturated and bright and also here we can balance the white by moving this dot to the warm side or to the cool side and also by clicking on this button advanced settings here we can balance the red green and blue also with the same picture which is demonstrating the difference so now let's move on the next thing that we got here is font size and style by clicking on it here you'll be able to see the demonstration and also be able to change the font enable or disable what font and also change the font size so let's move on and the next thing that we can see here is the screen zoom here is it how it looks and you can see the description which says use this slider below to make items on your screen smaller or larger to change the size of text go to font and size style so you can see the difference and this is it. Now let's move on to the next setting, which is full screen apps. By clicking on it, we can see that unfortunately we have no apps to control. So let's move on to the next setting, which is named camera cutout. By clicking on it, you'll be able to see a list of the applications in which you'd be able to show the camera cutout, which looks like this, or by hiding the camera cutout, you will get a little line at the upper part of your phone. So. Let's select any applications, for example, for example, camera. Here we can choose show camera cutout or hide camera cutout. And here you can again see the difference. Now let's move on and the next thing that we got here is the screen timeout. So basically when you turn on your phone after being AFK, the phone will turn off in this exact time. We have here options from 15 seconds up to 10 minutes. And also we can find here an interesting feature which is named keep screen on while viewing. So your camera will track your eyes and if you are looking at the screen of your phone, it will stay turned on. So now let's move on. The next thing that we got here is an easy mode. Use a simple home screen layout with bigger on-screen items, a longer touch and hold delay to prevent accidental actions and high contrast keyboard for better reliability. Any customizations you've made to the home screen will be discarded. We can enable this mode by clicking on this slider and you can also see how the settings change. 
so let's disable it and move on. Next thing that we got here is the edge panels, which looks like this, I can demonstrate it to you. And by clicking on the name of this tab, we can also customize them, for example, handle, in which you can see the transparency size, width, colors and position. And on the panels you can choose the tools. So let's move on. So we are slowly getting to the end and the next thing that we got here is a navigation bar in which you would be able to switch the way how you are using the gestures on your phone. So currently I have these buttons that you can see right here. We can change it to swipe gestures. So for example, if we would like to go home, we would need to swipe up like this. If we would like to see the recent apps, we would need to swipe and hold like this and some more features. So let's switch back to the buttons. Here we also got more options. Here is it how it looks. And we also got here some interesting features, which is assistant app and circle to search. Now let's move on and here are left only some interesting settings, which is accidental touch protection, which is making the sensitivity of your screen lower. Also touch sensitivity, which can increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. And the last thing that we got here is the show charging information. It will show battery level and estimated time until full when always on display is off or not shown. And also here we can see an interesting tab which is named screen saver. By clicking on it here you can see some ways to screen saver. So we can read the description which is saying show a screen saver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. So this is it. And now we have take a look on whole list of the display settings. And that was it for today. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.